Hi there, guys, and welcome to Lit Capital. I'm your host, Lit Cap Ads. And this week, just going to be going through a few pairs, a few things that have now opened up due to the presidency being won by Joe Biden. Um, so just kind of see how the gates are going to open now for us to catch these trades. And of course, some long term moves should be uh, about to kick off. So with that said, let's get straight into it as usual. Now, guys, as usual, we've got a discord. You can download the app on your phone and catch all the ideas with some top traders and just get some ideas of how you can start to make money from trading, how you can understand it and how you can make some profits. So, guys, just download the discord app that's on your iPhone or any Apple or Android download the discord app you can then go onto our website and get the link to join the discord where you can catch all the trades and all the ideas that we're posting so guys if you haven't done that get that done right now with that said let's get straight into the charts okay guys the first one i want to talk about and get straight onto is the cad jpy okay we've been looking at some moves on this for a few weeks now and it's the 81 81 200 around that mark there so just just around where my blue box hit just want to see price again struggle like it has it's come to my area hit the point again and just had a small move down it's kind of holding around this 80 80 800 mark now so i just kind of want to see how this progresses i want to see if we can get a push from this zone i don't think we'll get another retest so i will be looking to call this in different circumstances okay so i just want to see if we're going to get the strength for the yen again okay now that usually comes during the evening so that's something i will be monitoring throughout tonight okay so that's the cad jpy pay attention to the 81 81 200 mark okay i am aware that price can fly to the 82 83 mark with this big piece of imbalance here on the daily that is something i can see happening too so i'm just kind of let this one come to me see what i can get out of it and what's going to be the best entry on this cad jpy okay so keep an eye on that one. The next one I want to talk about is the euro pound. OK, I've had this area. I've had this swing up in monitoring it. If it is going to push from here, this would be the last point of call. OK, around the 89, 88, 800 mark. OK, what we've got so far is this move still being held as valid. The body hasn't gone down and closed below here yet. OK, we may get a liquidity grab, but nothing has shown me that, you know, it's going to continue lower until the body goes lower than that point there. So I am aware that it can come down to the 88 mark where I've got that piece of imbalance marked out. So I'm just going to let this one, like the other, come to me. I do feel the pound has been too strong recently, and I do feel it will keep going, but I need to let this one show me a bit more information. Okay, so with that one, just stay tuned. Now the pound Aussie. I know a lot of students have been having fun with this one this week. Um, I'm just going to give you my quick insight as to what I can see. I do think there is a massive sell-off coming. And the reason being, I think it looks a bit clearer on the four hour. On this four hour time frame, we've had price come back towards this 182, 500 mark. And it's showing me what I want to see. It's showing me that formation of struggling. So lots of candles coming up to that point. The wicks showing me that it's rejecting higher prices. And it looks like they're continuously adding positions around that mark. So again, we're now about 60 pips away from the point. So I just want to see it come back up. And then again, I'll be uh, focusing on that one for a big sell-off. Again, like the other trades, there is an area that I've marked out higher that it can go to. So I'll just be keeping an eye, making sure that I'm aware of all the things that could possibly happen. Okay. Now, just like the pound Aussie, I'm going to move straight into the pound CAD. This is one that I have been watching for quite a while. This is a student. One of my students brought this to my attention and I like the way it moves. So I've started to study it. OK, now around the 173 level, I've noticed price come here. It struggled here before and it's come again. It's gone up and grabbed some liquidity, almost cre could say created a double top there. So I am aware of that. We all know what a double top means. We know what could happen there. So I just want to see, again, like the others, price struggling here, which we've got so far. It's been here for about 20 hours. Um, it is threatening to climb up slightly higher. But for me, I just want to see a push down and then a retest off that 173. I'm aware we may not get the entry at the 173 level. So I would be looking at around maybe 172, 800, just something just slightly before the area so we can be alert and get ready to catch a trade. OK, guys, I get asked a lot. What is Lit Capital? So just a quick, brief one. Um, Lit Capital, 
we basically started to learn to trade about four to three years ago now come across all the the problems that most beginner traders would find the things that you need to learn the things that you don't really need to learn and basically what we're here to do now is we've devised a course to help all beginners really understand trading and actually be able to profit their self okay so what i'm showing you here is the discord in here we have loads and loads of useful tips loads of things for you to get started to get relaxed in the financial markets so again if you haven't got yourself in this i mentioned at the start of the video I'm going to show you right now. You can go over to our website. Here's where the box will pop up. That's www.litcapital.co.uk. This box will pop up. You'll be asked to put your name, your email address in, and then you'll be sent a link to then join the Discord where you can then access all that information that we're posting 24 hours, seven days a week. Okay. And our last but not least, our last little asset for you, the YouTube channel, guys. Thank you for following. Thank you for subscribing, hitting the notifications bell. We see all of you. Um, just again, if you haven't got yourself in here, just check it out. Lots of useful things, playlists, beginner's guides. And of course, all of our trade setups are posted online for you to capture, for you to see, for you to capitalize on. So don't play yourself, guys. Okay, guys, I'm just going to leave you with two little bonus ones here. This is the oil trade, okay? Of course, with everything that's going on in the world right now, uh, this needs to be heavily monitored. Um, I'm talking about the 43 level. Okay, so it's just about here, just about there. I'm I'm pretty sure we're going to get a, a good sell off from this area now. Um, it's come towards the imbalance area, struggled, and it's showing a good sign. I don't think we'll get it today, so I'm just going to continue monitoring for the rest of the week. But this is an area where I believe we can get a move from. So again, just keep an eye on oil, guys. There's something big happening here. We just got to keep an eye out and be ready to capitalize. Last but not least, I'm going to leave you on this one. In fact, this is a little tip. This has just been called by the Lit Capital team. Um, around about the 132500 mark, we're looking at a sell on the pound USD. We're looking to see the dollar gain some strength. Okay, so just keep an eye on that one and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Guys, I've been Lit Cap Ads. If you like the video, you like the trade setups that we've been posting, just hit the like button. Hit the bell. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And guys, remember, every day is money day. Peace.